What's good, Backyard Barbecues and Barbecuettes, man? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, bringing you that down south barbecue, you see it, from Georgia, uh, Georgia, Florida. Uh, we'll go with that for now. But uh, born and raised in Georgia, lived in Florida for half my life, so I'm going to say Georgia, Florida. But anyway, let's get to it, man. Stress test one-on-one -on, -one on this tomato, Big Joe 3, right? So if you've been following me, you know that I had a knockoff tomato. Uh, at the time, it was about $400 from Lowe's, knockoff. Uh, I think it's the Vision Grill. Uh, but anyway, that thing was the truth. If I had to choose one grill, I would pick a, at that time, I would have picked that Kamado over any of my grills. That's the Weber, you name it, Char Griller, Oklahoma Joe. Uh, oh my goodness, man. Uh, who else is out there? The Tailgater, the, uh, the Pellets. I would have chose that because it's a one-stop shop. I can cook pizza, high temps up to six, seven hundred degrees. I can go low and slow and sleep all night at 225 if you know what you're doing. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to test to see how this stands up in comparison to my knockoff that I used to have, right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to cook some wings. I'm just going to throw a couple wings on it because I just want to see what the capabilities are. And word to the wise. When you buy a grill, learn your grill before you, you try to invite a thousand people over to uh, to do a party or something like that, because you embarrass yourself. If you don't know how the tips flow, where your hot, hot spots and cold spots are, you will embarrass yourself. So, uh, without further ado, pardon the flame, uh, we're going to stress test this. I'm going to show you what I'm using today to light it. There's a million different one ways to light a grill, as you know. Today I'm using these until I use them all up. I got a couple more gadgets that I'm gonna show y'all for the Kamado. Actually, I got a whole lot of gadgets, but uh, stay tuned for those. But today we're just gonna light this with this until I use them all out just because I spent my money on it. But anyway, uh, they look like some knockoff fire starters, but they work. All I'm gonna do is I already got it set up. I'm gonna light it. And here's how I stress this. When I cook chicken wings on my knockoff, Hands down, when I say it's the best, this is what I used to do. Open the lid, light my cubes, leave the lid open for 30 minutes, right? I never adjust the top or the bottom airflow. It always stayed fingertip gap open. 30 minutes with the lid open, I close the lid. I go get my meat, come back and put it on the grill. I don't even look at it for a complete hour. This chicken wings, right? Straight chicken wings. After an hour, I open it to spritz, close the lid, and 30 minutes later, no flipping over. 30 minutes later, you take them off. That's how smooth it was. An hour and 30 minutes of cooking. An hour not looking, don't even flip it. Come back, spritz it. 30 minutes later, you're taking them off. On to the next batch. That's how I was getting them off like that. It was like rocket science. So we're gonna stress test this thing right here, and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna start rambling so y'all can, uh, see if this indeed does the same thing so stay tuned y'all we're gonna go ahead and light this thing and then we'll get, get on about our business y'all all right we're back y'all man oh let me show you this before i forget it hey this that el, el cheapo comment below if you you prefer this uh first time ever using this but i just bought a bag to uh just to test out the grill so it seems like it's been doing good but anyway just want to show y'all what i'm cooking with today uh right now it's already ready this 30 minute mark so i'm about to put all my uh items back on on the grill the slow roller i know what that is coming here with this yep, just like clockwork y'all just like that just that easy close my lid still waiting on my latch actually they, they sent me an email for the latch and some touch-up paint uh should get it Tuesday of this week, this coming up week. So it's Sunday, so you'll get in about two more days. So stay tuned for a video on that. I'll repair the latch. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna put this chicken on in about 10 minutes and we're gonna see how this temp comes off. And we're gonna go from there, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, we back, man. I'm gonna go ahead and crank this thing open. Put these little few wings on here. Let it do what it do. Put some fuel off. Got a special, got a special season. Let's 
say to them? No way. It's nothing special. We're going to see what it do. Back in an hour, y'all. We stress testing this thing today. All right, we're back, y'all. Hey, check this out. Oh, before I open this up, it's been an hour, y'all. Uh, nope, this ain't apple juice, right? Another concoction I use from time to time. Uh, it's tightening up my skills because I got a lot of things moving fast uh, in the future. But anyway, uh, I'm going to spritz this. Word to the wise, right? So I don't want to use my spritz bottle. If y'all ever seen my spritz bottle that I bought from Lowe's, uh, you have to use a lot of uh, apple juice, apple cider vinegar, 50-50 water, whatever you're using, this, whatever, right? So I don't want to use a whole lot of it just to, just to pump it out and spray it. Got a little bit, so all you do is take a regular water bottle and poke holes in it. Spray bottle. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's all get a close-up. Y'all hear that? I'm gonna tell y'all a part of the story too. Let me show you this real quick. Yeah. See? Remember what I told y'all? You don't have a flip them over? Hey. I'm gonna make y'all barbecue for, for you, Lord. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Yep. Gonna leave them right there for another. Yeah, I said an hour and a half. I don't trust this thing. Probably pull them off about 20 minutes. Like I said, little print bottle. Oh, so funny story about what I'm doing now. Cue steaks. So the wife says, "Hey, I want some burgers. I want to throw them out, right?" I'm like, all right, cool. I go in there. Normally, I label my, my, my packages of meat and stuff like that, right? And uh, but this time it wasn't like. So I grabbed the bag, looking at it, I'm like, "Ooh, mm, it's like ground beef." Started out all morning. I go in there while the wings were on. What did I pull out? Cheese steak. Long story short, we eat steak burgers at night, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Say less. Anyway, oh yeah, he's about to go in. Yes, sir. Hey, that's the one thing I will say. You know what? I'm going to hold it. I'm going to show y'all this. I'm going to take it in the house. And we're going to talk for a brief second about my thoughts about this tomato. And go from there, y'all. So stay tuned. Right, ladies and gents there you have it wings and a surprising cube steak uh what about thoughts as it stands right now because this is really like my second or third cook and actually trying to see if it does the same thing i'm gonna still have to give it to the knockoff the vision right now and i i'm, I'm gonna say that only because I thoroughly knew that grill or that smoker or whatever you want to call it uh, the Kamado style grill I thoroughly knew that in and out this one uh, the tips that I thought I was gonna get usually I cook around 275 for that hour and a half I gotta figure that out I gotta figure out what my marks need to be in order to achieve that but for the most part I just let it run you guys saw it at the hour mark it was it was perfect I could have took them off then I let them sit a little bit more just because I like the skin a little tight, uh, crispy. And that might be the way I go. Maybe I'm, I'm on to something and I'll save myself some time. But uh, I will say these Kamados, hands down, better than any other piece of equipment I ever, ever owned, including Big Bertha. Now, I will say there's a difference between charcoal, lump coal, and if you truly know meat i'm not saying barbecue if you truly know meat and the taste of it the taste where you can identify seasonings in the meat i'm pretty good at that uh then you can tell when you use a different brand of charcoal lump coal lump coal burns a little hotter than uh coal if you didn't know that 
or less ash completely. If you never use it, try some lump coal, less ash in the trash. Uh, but that stick burner, man, that's where it's at. You can't even compare. I don't care who tells you that they can barbecue. You can't barbecue unless you can find with some wood. That tastes like no other. Uh, needless to say, it's coming back around. Hopefully, hopefully for sure, everything is uh, lined up. Uh, so far, you know, minus any glitches or hiccups uh, on my end, did I get a stick burner? Another stick burner. Uh, gotta come up with a name though, y'all. Comment below. I need a name. Yep. Anyway, stay tuned, y'all. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll let you boy.